Today we're going to do 2010 GCE O Level Physics Practical. So are you ready? Let's start preparing. Now the question says that the pressure in a liquid increases as the depth of the liquid decrease increase. When water is placed in the burette and the tap is open, the pressure and hence the force pushing the water through the tap, it will be greater when the burette is full. So this is a burette. As you can see that it's exactly the same as the setup. This is the meter rule. And then it goes on to say that this means that the flow rate, which is the rate at which water leaves the burette, will change as the height of the water in the burette decreases. In this exercise, you will investigate this change in the flow rate as the burette slowly empties. You are going to use the apparatus as shown in figure 1.1, which is here, which has already been set up for you to measure the variation in the height of water in the burette H with time when the tap is opened by a small amount. First, you will set the tap so that it allows the burette to drain at an appropriate flow rate. Your app apparatus may vary from that shown in figure 1.1. This will not affect the way that you carry out the task or the result that you will obtain. Note, if your flow rate is too low, the experiment will take too long. Once you have set the flow rate, you must not move the tap. Setting the flow rate. First, we have to close the tap on the burette the tap on the burette is closed. Using a funnel, which is over here, fill the burette with water so that the level is well above the zero mark. Zero mark is here, so I have to fill this up all the way well above the zero mark. Remove the funnel and partially open the tap so that the water run out at less than its maximum rate. For Canada using burette with the rubber tubing and a glass nozzle instead of a tap, a G-clamp is securely tightened onto the rubber tubing. Untighten the G-clamp slightly to allow the water to flow. Number 5 says that start the stopwatch when the meniscus reading reaches the 0 cm mark on the burette and stop the stopwatch when it's at the 10 cm cube mark on the burette. So over here, the 0 cm cube is over here. The 10 cm cube is at this range here. So because it's not at my eye level, I shouldn't start this experiment in this manner. I should bring it down. 